Hey, hey, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about, very briefly, the role of price mechanism, which is a signal to consumers and producers to act. you got to think about prices like this, this, this blinking light, some sort of beacon, some sort of signal, some sort of message, some sort of email, some sort of text message, I don't know what it is, that tells producers and consumers to act. Okay, so price is this force that pushes action or demands a response from either consumers or producers. Okay, so as we've seen how the forces of supply and demand um, move markets to equilibrium, it's also important to see how this price mechanism helps allocate resources really efficiently because of the pri- the change in out the, the, the resources are allocated and reallocated in response to it. So if there's a change, if there's an increase in the price of a good due to an increase in demand for the good, which would be an outward shift, right, an outward shift of this demand curve, then something like this, right, if this were to happen and we were to have D2, that's going to send a signal to suppliers to, hey, 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 you know, you better start supplying more because, look, there's now all of a sudden there's a new price quantity combination. And so... It's a signal to producers that consumers want to buy more of this good. And since we can assume the producers are rational and they wish to maximize their profits, then a higher price will give producers an incentive to produce more of the good, in this case, gasoline. So therefore, producers will allocate more resource towards those goods where the demand is the highest, since this is where they will be able to make more profit. And of course, the opposite could be true too, right? If, if, I were, if, if demand were to shift inward for some reason, all of a sudden people don't want to buy gasoline very much. And they're moving towards, oh, I don't know, electric cars, and there's an inward shift, then that would send a signal to producers to, hey, hey, listen, we better cut, we better cut the supply of this, of this good because the demand has shifted inward. And so the key thing of price mechanism, it gets to the fundamentals of the market, the free market um, system. It's that there's no central planning agency that specifically tells producers to produce more of a good. It is the increase in price that serves as a signal to producers, which creates the incentive for producers to produce more of a good. It's super logical, right? And so... This goes back to referring to the ideas of Adam Smith, that there's this some sort of like invisible hand, right? Some sort of invisible hand that is moving throughout the marketplace that is creating um, this, this signal, this, this movement, and this reallocation of the factors of production to produce goods and services that are wanted or not wanted by the buyers in the economy. So price mechanism is this underlying force in the free market that pushes society towards the most efficient allocation of resources that can be achieved. And that is a really fundamental concept for you to have in your mind because when governments get involved by taxing things or providing subsidies or creating price floors or price ceilings, that equilibrium is going to be messed with And as a result, the free market will be messed with because in the free market, the force is price. It's the signal to all all players in the marketplace to act. So I hope you found that to be helpful. Price mechanism is a key concept of understanding uh, microeconomics and all economics for that matter. So I hope that was helpful and talk to you in a bit.